So let's begin our discussion on electric potential difference, also known as the voltage difference. Now before we define what this concept is, let's recall two things. So let's recall what electric field is and how it is defined. And then let's talk about change in electric potential energy. So earlier we defined the electric field as the electric force that it creates per some unit charge on which it acts on. So we define the electric field as the force divided by our charge, where the force is the force as a result of this field that acts on some given charge. So in the previous lecture, we defined the change in electric potential energy given by change in U between some point A and some point B as the negative quantity of work that is done by an electric force to move an electric charge over that distance from uh, point A to point B. Now we also said because our work is equal to force multiplied by distance and because the force is an electric force, that means the work is equal to Q, the charge, multiplied by E, which is our force, multiplied by our distance. So Q multiplied by E is the electric force. And this equation only works as long as our electric field is assumed to be constant. Now, in the same way that we found it useful to define the electric field as the force per unit charge, we defined something called the electric potential difference, or simply the voltage difference, as the change in electric potential energy given by change in U per unit charge. So the voltage difference between two points A and B is equal to the change in electric potential energy between those two points divided by the unit charge given by Q. Now we can replace our change in U with negative W and we can replace negative W with QED. And notice the Qs will cancel top and bottom and we're left with E multiplied by D. So the voltage difference when our electric field is assumed to be constant is equal to the electric field multiplied by the distance between point A and point B. Now the units of voltage are newtons multiplied by meters and this has a specific name that is called volts and that's exactly why we call the electric potential difference the voltage difference. Now in the same exact way that only a difference in potential energy is measurable, only a difference in voltage is measurable and that's why we discuss voltage difference and not simply voltage. So only differences in electric potential or voltage are measurable. We always specify one electric potential, one voltage with respect to another electric potential with another voltage at some other point. So let's suppose we have the following diagram. We have the following setup. We have two parallel plates. This is our positive parallel plate and this is our negative parallel plate. Now, how exactly is our electric potential difference created? Well, this positive plate is defined to have a high potential, a high electric potential. And this negative plate is defined to have a low electric potential. And what actually creates the electric potential difference is the difference in charge. We have a positive charge and we have a negative charge. And that that creates an electric potential difference because there is a distance separating these two charges. So the electric charge on the two parallel plates creates an electric potential difference. Now if we take a positive charge and we place it by this positive plate, our charge will move from the high potential to the low potential and that is always true. A positive charge will always move from a high voltage to a low voltage but an electron because it has or a negative charge 
charge because it has the opposite sign will move in the opposite direction. It will always move from the low potential to our high potential. So, the positive charge given by positive Q will move naturally from a high electric potential to a lower electric potential. On the other hand, a negative charge given by negative Q will move from the low potential to the high potential. Now, another useful way of defining electric potential difference is in the following manner. Electric potential difference or the, or the voltage difference is the measure of how much energy a charge can gain in a certain situation. So, let's look at the following positive electric charge. When it travels from the high potential to the low potential, when it travels in this voltage difference, it gains energy, it gains kinetic energy. At the same exact time, when this negative charge moves from the low potential to the high potential, because there exists a voltage difference, this charge will gain energy. It will gain kinetic energy. So once again, electric potential difference or voltage difference is the measure of how much energy a certain electric charge can gain in a certain field, in a certain electric field. Now, let's look at the following example. A proton gains 6.0 times 10 to the negative 16 joules of kinetic energy when it accelerates in a uniform electric field from the positive to the negative plate as shown in the following diagram. If the charge of our proton is positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, Calculate the voltage difference that is required. Remember, the only way that this proton gains energy is because there must exist an electric potential difference or a voltage difference between this positive plate and this negative plate. So that's exactly how we defined the electric potential difference. So when our proton moves from the high potential to the low potential, it will gain kinetic energy. So to calculate how much electric potential difference we must have, we use this equation. So our voltage difference is equal to how much energy it has to gain divided by Q. Now actually this is how much potential energy it has to lose because the electric potential energy is transformed into kinetic energy as this charge moves from the high potential to the low potential. So the amount of electric potential energy that our charge, our proton loses is equal to the amount it gains in kinetic energy. So our change in U is simply 6.0 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. We divide by the charge and that gives us 3,750 volts is our voltage difference or the electric potential difference that must exist for this proton to gain this quantity of kinetic energy as it travels from the high potential to the low potential.